Yo, what's up, guys? Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a bunch of money in MLB The Show 23 or just any MLB The Show, but this is mainly just for MLB The Show 23. I mean, you can do it in 22, you can do it in 21, you can do it in a bunch of other ones, but I'm on MLB The Show 23, and let's say you don't have that many stubs and you want to buy a pack or something, you don't have, because these packs are like 50,000, 40,000. I'm at 39,000 right now. But what you want to do is you want to go over to collect and then you want to go to exchange. Um, and then you want to exchange players. Now what you can do, if you don't have any silver players to exchange for gold, then you want to go to silver and exchange bronze for that. And if you don't have any bronze, then you exchange bronze for this. It's pretty, it's pretty simple. Um, but... We have a bunch of silver players and all that. There's a bunch of pages and stuff. You just go down, you just click on them, and it'll exchange it, and it'll put it into the percentage on the right of your screen. But if you go over to here, where it shows gold, this is what you really want to do. So you want to exchange all of your silver players, and that's what I'm going to do. And we're going to do this until that 10% there, until that reaches 100 now I think I have enough players to do it which I'm looking at right now and I definitely do think I do uh, here we go just need I think like one more alright so there we go now we're at like 117 and that's all my silver cards so now we're gonna click advance we're gonna click yes and there we go and now that's all that you really gotta do um, and you can do this over and over and over again, but what's really good is that when you go to your packs, you should have like a bunch of packs, um, not from doing that, but if you do have a bunch of packs, this is going to teach yourself, don't sell any of your cards, just don't, because what we're looking for here is a gold player that is like this, well, not really like this, but some of them, you can get them for almost 12,000 or more and then that just really adds up over time and I've been doing this I've, I've normally been averaging over 5,000 gold but once I figured out this method of taking cards and exchanging them it really does help me out so if you guys are ever thinking about getting some new stuff you can exchange cards um, it's really really useful we can exchange these guys for some silvers and it's only one silver card. You only get one silver card if you exchange all these guys, but they should be worth um, lots and lots of money. I'm just going to go to page 26 because they exchange for a lot more. The higher you go up in the page, the more they're going to exchange for. So if you're looking to just exchange fast like I am right now, see I'm already at 111 and that's like three cards. Not three cards, it's way more. But you can exchange items and it's just really easy. I'm just trying to show you guys how you can do this here see two cards I'm already at 34 percent and it's it's just it's it's easy it's easy to do so I'm already at 103 and I'm only at a couple cards so and now we can go over here and then to say that you did it with the gold we can open packs and now we have two new silver cards and you can you can do it with the silver, but I'm gonna keep these guys actually, because then it's gonna be good to exchange for that. But uh, if you get um, I'll show you guys here. So, so if we get some packs here and we can open these packs, all of these players here, all of these silver players and stuff, you want to keep the silver players. Any other card. You you can do whatever you want there. You can sell it or whatever. But all these bronze and stuff, we we really don't want them. We're really just looking for the silvers and golds, because then that's what'll eventually get you um, the cards. Like this guy right here, he would be very good to trade in. And it's it's just fun, cause and you don't necessarily have to buy packs. Like me, you can do this, but there's a very big chance that you're not going to get a lot of silvers, like I am right here. This is something that we're also looking for. If you get a gold like this, let's say you exchange, you can get something like this. You can sell that for 400. So I mean, you make you make money back if you buy a pack or something. But we're really just looking for these silvers. I don't. I think I've only gotten one silver. This is very unlucky. Um. 
But once you do get the silvers, you can go and exchange them, and that's just really, really simple. Um, and I've I've made tons of money. I've had like 100 k off this already, and it's it's really simple. So now we got another guy, 75. You don't really want to buy them, um, or sell them because they're just, they're just not really that worth it. And then we can go back to exchanges, exchange. Let's see if I can get a gold. I honestly don't really think I can. Because I think I only have three cards. There's one. Maybe I can. We may be able to do it. I just need a couple more people. No. So we can't do it yet. But you can you get the idea on how this is now if it's not at 100 percent if the the better put the percentage is so if you can manage to get it up to like 110 percent or 130 percent i've seen people do um it's it's really good and to do that you really gotta get some of the lower cards and then for like for your last three you want to get some of these higher cards because then that'll blast you up to like a hundred and ten percent and it's just really really easy and it's just really nice to do um but anyway that's that's really it for this tutorial so um if you guys want to see more stuff on mlb the show um you know make sure you guys like and subscribe make sure you guys like this video make sure you guys also comment down below if you want to see anything else i am also live on twitch most days so if you guys want to go check out my twitch um it's kcb videos it's the exact same thing as my youtube channel just without the two exclamation marks um if you want i'll put a link in the description or the comments whatever you guys um want me to do i'll probably put it in the comments it's a lot easier to do that now um but yeah, that's really it. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, like and subscribe. Join the Twitch. Alright, see you guys in the next one.